Hey everybody, um, in this tutorial, I'll be talking to you guys about mixing. Um, I've had uh, loads of requests to do uh, mixing on uh, this template. There's a lot of producers, um, they don't use Ableton. There's, uh, of course, Logic, FL, uh, Reason, and many other DAWs. Um, for this track, I try to I try keeping everything simple, so there's only maybe like six seven elements playing at the same time um, of course I panned left right um, just to make it wider and so things are not interfering with each other an example of that is um, right here these hats this one is panned left and then I have this pan to the right And then one in the straight dead center, 4-4. Four, four. Um, panning is very important in mixing. And also another thing that is very important is having all the elements, instruments, atmospheres, um, loops they have to have their own space of volume you can't have everything at zero or at e everything at like four negative four or so on um, everything has to have its own space usually the kick is always at the highest level so let me just show you guys So you can see the kick is hitting at negative four. Um, then I have the the bass. Um, you have to be careful when you're mixing kick and the bass. Um, for this bass, all I did was a hard. It's just a straight line note. Looks like this. And I just did a hard sidechain compression to the kick. Um, you have to be very careful mixing kick and bass. Um, those are the low frequencies and it can get very muddy. Um, I also recommend if you don't have a pair of studio speakers, try saving up for those. Um, they help a lot on mixing. Um, I have the chords playing. They are just uh, slightly above the bass and just under the kick. These are basically the three main elements of this track: so the chords. Um, you can hear the sub bass and then the kick. Uh, if you, yeah, like I said, if you're not using speakers or headphones, you can't you can't hear the sub bass through um, the computer monitor speakers. And then all you want to do is, like this, I added some loops, hi-hats. You can see it also has its own um, volume level, and all I did was pan it hard to the left. This is just the 4-4 uh, four, four hi-hat to go with the kick. Um, I layered these two loops and snare together. One is just lower of volume. You hear? And these are just some atmospheres. Of course, the main mellow lead is paint, pan to the left. If I pan it to the right, it will kind of interfere with the uh, snares. So this is perfect. Left is the uh, hi-hat and the mellow lead.
I mean, that's basically it. Um, if you can have a nice EQ for every instrument and then good mix, um, that's all you need. And also another trick is the way I do it is I'll group everything for the most part. I won't group the effects but mainly the uh, instruments. And then I will drag it down to negative 8 and then for the master channel I will just boost it to about negative 0.3. This is with and without the mastering. So yeah, that's basically about mixing. Um, it just takes time and you just have to use your ears. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, share. Um, if you want any, any requests, just message us on Facebook or comment down below. And we'll see you guys next time.